hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, try it out on your own, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so in this problem, we're told there are seven multiple choice questions on a test. Each of them has four choices. And we want to know what's the probability that you would get uh, three of them incorrect. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, uh, I'm going to think to myself, what's the probability that you get a question incorrect? Calling that P, that's what we're looking for, that's our success here. Well, it's three out of four. Assuming on a four choice question that only one of them is correct, the others are incorrect, you have a three out of four chance of getting any question wrong. And what's the probability that you get it right? Well, one out of four, right? The other one is correct. Now, with seven questions in a row, uh, one thing that could happen, you could say, well, I got the first three wrong. So the probability of that happening is three fourths times three fourths times three fourths or three fourths to the third. And then the probability of getting it right for the rest of the questions would be one fourth for the seven remaining questions. But that's just one arrangement of uh, results that we can get. If you think about what's going on here, we have seven questions. This is saying I got the first three wrong and then the next four right. But I can get three wrong in essentially many different ways, right? So for example, we don't know the distribution of right and wrong answers. Uh, and each of them are equally likely. But we have to account for them all, right? We have to look at all the different ways this could happen and count them all. So one way you could do is, is actually draw it out by brute force, look at each case and find out all the different ways that this could happen, find the probability and multiply it by that many times, whatever that number is. But another way to think about it is to say, well, we're looking at seven, pos seven questions, so seven possible locations to pick three wrong answers, right? We're picking three. So how many different ways can you pick three different spots for wrong answers out of seven? Well, that's a combination problem. That's There are seven things to pick from. How many different ways can you pick three that are wrong? And this is, the, this is called binome PDF is what we're looking at here. That's what we're finding. This is the binome PDF. And you can do this by hand. You can do the combination and and set it up, or you can do it directly on a calculator. I actually can't pull my calculator right now on the screen. So uh, first you find the combination, right? This piece right here, this is just seven factorial over three and four factorial. And then you can compute that on a calculator. But I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. I'm gonna press second variables as a graphing calculator. And under choice A on second bars is the binome PDF. So I say there are seven trials. That's my seven questions. The probability of getting a question wrong is 0.75. I want to do that three times, and I get my answer, 0.0576, and we're rounding to the nearest 10,000th, so it's 0 0.0577, and that's our answer. All right, hope that helped.